something that can make you sneeze, make you feel terrible, and the recent weather in East Texas has made for some high pollen levels. But how exactly is the pollen measured and counted? Today, KLTV7's Paul Rivera met up with the man who says he is the only local pollen counter in East Texas. Here's a look at how it all works. If you're like me, you've probably been sneezing a lot lately. Well, we're going to take you through what may be behind those allergies. Turn off the machine. I've been down, removed the rod. On top of UT Health Northeast and Tyler, Paul encounter Dexter Jones. And I replace it with a clean rod. Starts his daily ritual with a machine that spins a pollen rod. For one minute, this will now run to collect pollen. In timed intervals for 24 hours. And if you thought you could see the pollen, well. By the naked eye, you will not see. For that, we have to go somewhere else. Here's the rod. The goal is to identify pollen like this. But I place it there, and then I apply stain. The stain is a special liquid that highlights the pollen under the microscope. That rod is actually broken down to three different sections up under this magnif magnification. He then counts each pollen grain. I'm identifying trees. I'm saying, is there weeds? Grasses and molds are the other categories he marks down. At least he's not seeing all four yet. That gets to be a tedious counting process. The slightly time consuming final count is figured out using math. On a regular given day, a two hour time period. And finally, he'll prepare for what tomorrow brings. Because you never know. You never know when you're in East Texas. Paul Rivera, KLTV 7 News. Dexter says his tree count for today is more than 1,200, which is high. On the plus side, if it rains tomorrow and temperatures stay cool, he says it could decrease the pollen count, at least temporarily. We'll be right back.